Hi, Tim Stump from Technique Peak. Just want to go over a couple of ways to isolate the subscapularis. As we know, it's a powerful internal rotator, and the two most common patients you're going to see with this are going to be subscap repairs, obviously, and also uh, the total shoulder replacement. Uh, once those both of those patients are to the strengthening phase, and we want to work on strengthening the internal rotators, I want to show you how to isolate it. In the traditional method, we tend to work doing internal rotation this way, the rolled up towel or something like that under here. The problem with this is, you know, it does get the uh, subscap, but it also gets the pec and the uh, latissimus dorsi, as those are very powerful internal rotators, and you are in the length tension rela uh, relationship or ratio for them to activate. So what we like to do here is that face it this way, more than 12 o'clock position, in coming to a, like a traditional belly press test. Okay, so internally rotating this way. A lot of the patients initially may have a hard time with that, so you can even do isometrics, internally rotating, and do your traditional isometric this way. Progress to a sub-stack walkout. And then hold it, and then come back in. That would be rep one. Come back out, hold it for a period of time. Again, this is an isometric, and then eventually progress to your isotonic. Okay, one quick technique to realize is they will compensate by having their elbow back, so you need to have it forward when they do this. Hopefully you felt that was helpful, and I'll see you again real soon. Thank you.